All right, what's up, my mathletes? This is Miss Muscarella coming at you. And we're gonna take a look at question number six from the homework that you guys had. So I think you'll be okay with the initial solving of this. So if you add one both sides, you know, we'll just get secant theta equals negative three. When you divide both sides by six, you'll end up with negative one half. So when we get to this spot, secant of theta equals negative one half. When we see secant, we may wanna think of the reciprocal function of secant, which of course is cosine. So secant's the same thing as one over cosine of theta. Now some of you may be able to skip this step that I just wrote down and take the reciprocal of both sides kind of at once. So when you do that, the reciprocal of the, when we flip one over cosine, that just becomes cosine. And when we flip negative two or negative one half, that becomes negative two. So then I got to think to myself, okay, self, where on the unit circle is there a negative two? And I'm looking, 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 looking. And I look all day because there ain't no negative two sitting on that unit circle. So this is one where we're going to get a no solution, yo. We got no, no answer for this one. And also think about the graph. Think about the graph of cosine, right? So the graph of cosine, and then re let's remember, cosine starts high, goes to the axis, goes low, and then goes back to the axis, and then goes back high. So chala for cosine. And the highs and low spots are at one and negative one. So we would start high, go here to the axis, go low, go back to the axis, and go high. So when we draw our cosine curve, it doesn't even go as high or as low as negative two. So sorry, bro, no solution on this one, but thanks for playing the algebra game. Peace out, my mathletes. Later.